In this video, we're going to go over the setup of the third reality smart switch third generation model. Now, before we begin, you need to ensure you have an Amazon Echo device with a built in Zigbee hub. There are many different models, so you may have to do a little research to see which one fits your wants. A note before we begin make sure you're not installing this on a light switch that controls the power for your Amazon Echo. If you turn off the light switch, you lose power to the Echo and can't give voice commands to turn it back on. Now, before we start, you're going to need the two AAA batteries that came in the box, a screwdriver to remove the existing faceplate screws, and if you have a rocker light switch, which is the, those flat ones, you also want to grab the stickers because you're going to place those on top of them. Now, before we install, you're going to remove the back cover of the smart switch and insert the two AAA batteries. Replace the cover when it's done. You should notice that it starts blinking with a blue light, letting you know it's in pairing mode. And just make note that the end that the blue light is on is considered the top of the smart switch. You're going to ensure the actuator, which is the little white rectangle part that moves the light switch up and down, is in the up or on position, as well as your light switch being in the on position. If it's not, press the button on the smart switch and it should get into the correct position. You're going to adjust the spacers as needed to ensure proper engagement between the smart switch and your wall switch. The spacers needed is going to be different depending on your particular light switch. For this example, I had to use the biggest ones, which are the three millimeter. So it's going to take a little experimentation before you find what works best for you. Now, this is also the part that if you do have a rocker light switch, you're going to place the stickers on the light switch. You're then going to remove the screws from the light switch faceplate. Then you're going to place the bracket with the spacer you found for your light switch and screw it all back in together. You're going to press the third reality smart switch onto those brackets until you feel it take hold. To test if it's holding well, just gently pull on it. If it doesn't pop right off, you should be fine. Now we are going to pair it but we're not gonna do it through the Alexa app. Now to pair this, you want to make sure the blue light is flashing. If it's not flashing anymore, press and hold the big button on the smart switch for at least 20 seconds. You will see the blue LED start flashing rapidly, which lets you know that it's in pairing mode. You're gonna make sure that your Echo device is powered on and within the range of your smart switch. And then you're going to say, Alexa, discover my devices. Alexa will search for, and after a little bit of time, recognize the smart switch, assigning it a default name like first switch. And it will tell you that it found it. To test it, you're going to say, Alexa, turn on first switch, or Alexa, turn off first switch. Again, this should be the normal default name it gives it, but if not, just Test it by saying Alexa turn on whatever it did name it. Now this is an optional thing, but something I like doing is we're actually going to name the light switch. So in the Alexa app, we're going to go down to the bottom left and tap on devices. It looks like the little light bulb in the bottom left corner. Under devices, you're going to tap whatever Alexa named the new smart switch. For this example, Alexa name this one first switch. We're gonna tap the settings icon, which looks like a little gear in the top right corner. You're then going to tap edit name and change it to wherever you place this smart switch. For the example, I named this one living room switch. You're then going to tap return or enter, so it registers the name, and then you're gonna test it again. Say Alexa, turn on or off, and then whatever you named it. If it worked, it's all set up. 
Now for the example, we're gonna have Alexa turn on the light switch every weekday morning at 6 a.m. And we're gonna tap devices, which is the light bulb icon in the bottom left corner. You're gonna tap the smart switch's name and tap create routine. Tap the plus icon in the top right corner to create a new routine. Under when, you're going to tap the plus sign to the right of add an event. Tap schedule. Tap at time. To the right of repeat, you're going to tap every day. And for this example, you're going to tap Sunday and Saturday to remove the check marks to the right of them. That way it's only working Monday through Friday. Tap save in the top right corner. Tap to the right of at time and select 6 a.m. Tap next in the top right. Under Alexa Will, tap the plus sign to the right of Add an Action. Tap Smart Home. Tap Switches. Tap the empty checkbox to the right of your smart switch name to select it. Tap Next in the top right corner. Power and on are already selected, so tap next. Tap save. Now that the routine is created, every weekday at 6 a.m., the smart switch will turn on the light switch if it's currently turned off. After this, you're all done.